All right, we got my Logitech K400 keyboard with the nano receiver plugged into the Odroid X2. This is just my Kingston Mobileite. Um, it's just um, like a wireless card reader, but it'll read USB flash drives and all that. Um, and yeah, it's just a link between Wi-Fi, you know, enabled devices and like, you know, mass storage. Very pretty blue light that's very pretty. All right, this is my Odroid X2 that I got last year um, in 2013. And I'm going to turn off this uh, Kingston model. Okay, I'm not using it right at the moment. Um, yeah, this is my Odroid X2. 1.6. It reports, you know, like on the website is 1.7, but like in Linux, a lot of times it reports or like Ubuntu, it, it uh, or Fedora, it uh, reports as 1.6 gigahertz, but it is a quad core processor, you know, four processor cores, and their ARM Cortex A9. Um, it's got two gigabytes of RAM. It's got six USB 2.0, there's four here, and there's another two here. There's a microphone, speaker out, it's got micro HDMI out, and it is not standard HDMI, so you cannot expect it to work with, with uh, uh, DVI adapters and all that, unfortunately. I got my 8 gig uh, SD card in here uh, that has Android. I forget which version of Android on there. Um, obviously an older one. I'm not even sure it's Jelly Bean, and it's definitely not KitKat. Uh, I got my Ethernet here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load it up. I want to show you, and you can see my monitor is ready. And I'll show you how quickly it, now listen to this snap sound. This is the power supply down here, not that you can see it. Now listen to the snap sound, okay, and watch the Odroid. All right, listen, because whenever you hear that snap sound, that's me turning on the power switch for this thing I got. There it went, power switch. Blue lights are already on. It's starting to load up. And should be coming up soon on the monitor. There we go. Google Android. I'm sure it's an older version. I'm not even sure if it's version 3. I mean, it could be. There we go. And it's ready to use. Um, the time, that's obviously wrong. It's an hour ahead. Something like that. No internet connection. Um, settings. Turn off Ethernet. Right. Turn on Ethernet. Um, hmm. so I can do Bluetooth. Uh, mobile networks. Hmm. Um, storage. It's got basically not all of this. Wait, total space. Okay, the SD card. It just depends on how it's set up. And a battery. It's not running on a battery. Um, this is Android, and which is for tablets and smartphones. But um, I guess it really has to be modified in order to um, to um, you know to to run on the Odroid because it is tablet hardware. But you know. It's like not running on a battery, you know what I mean? 
that wallpaper. No external storage available, live wallpapers. Um, it's got some good ones. Um, wallpapers. Yeah, this one's good. I like that one. That one's that one's neat. I do I do like this one quite a bit. That one's not bad. Let's see what else I got. Yeah, that one's kinda cool. But you know what I'm gonna do? You can go back to this one. Set the wallpaper. Now I play around with Android like Android like all the time on my tablet which I'm using right now to record this video. Alright. How to get apps on there. Uh, this uh, Apparently this does not have Google Play um, installed on it that I know of. Um, wow, it's got a terminal. Cool. I'm going to web browser. Let's see if I'm actually connected to the internet. Um, let's look it up for something. Because I put the MAC address of my Ethernet adapter in this OK. All right. It's... um. So obviously got a connection to the internet. It better have because I don't want to like log into my tablet again or log into my router again using my tablet while I'm recording this video and then put it on there. You know what I mean? Um, it's okay. Because I use um, Mac filtering on my uh, router, my wireless broadband router. And then usually Mac filtering handles, you know, your Wi-Fi connections. But on this router, it handles um, it handles um, what is it? Um, it handles uh, Ethernet also. Okay, that. Oh, I took a screenshot. All right. Uh, oh, that's right. Minimize. Slide that over. Slide that over. Android's Android is actually pretty cool. I like it, and I'm sure this is like a much older version of uh, Android. And um, Gallery is pretty cool. It's a nice app in there. It plays like you know, like audio and video files and pictures and stuff. There's File Explorer. It's pretty cool. Um, slide over here and uh, file explore there we go now um, settings There's settings no point in enabling Wi-Fi because I don't got it plugged up to here um hmm Hard kernel, there's some other stuff. I need to play around with this a little bit more. If I had Google Play on here, it'd be like really cool. Because then I can just add and remove software like really easily. But it runs, and this is the 8 gig SD card that I bought from Hard Kernel. You know, they make the, uh, the Odroid. And, um,. Now let's see if I can take out this um, USB flash drive. All right, this is a nice little device. I wish it did five gigahertz, and I wish it would, um, you know, let you stay connected to like, you know, I wish it wouldn't. Well, maybe it's my tablet that's at fault, but I wish it wouldn't take up your whole Wi-Fi connection. 
So it's either be connected to the internet or use that device. You know, um, it's a nice little device, but uh, So we need to put it like this. Mm -hmm. There we go. Plug, we're going to plug it up to the Odroid with a USB cable. You can hear how quiet this thing is. Listen to that. It's a 40 millimeter fan. You don't even really need the fan. Unless, you know, you're fully throttling the thing, like really running it heavy with a lot of processing tasks, or if you're going to overclock it. That's what they say on the Hard Kernel's website. But I bought the fan anyway, just to make sure that it'll never overheat. Power light's not coming on. Disappointing. Hmm. See if it recognizes them. I'll explore. Hmm. Maybe I will have to use that other device. So hoping I can get by with that, but oh well. What I'll have to do is transfer my video from this SD card to this USB flash drive. Power on the device. I have to end this video so I can use the mobile app to transfer this over. But yeah, it's pretty cool.